Welcome to my channel, Crystal. Here today, I would like to share a recent popular dish in my house, cold noodle salad. It's not like other regular noodle recipes. There's no need to make dough. Simply mix the water with flour. Steam it. Pair with your favorite toppings and dressings. The noodle tastes elastic and smooth. The toppings are colorful and fresh, and the dressings are salty, sour, and spicy. It's a very appetizing summer dish and new cook-friendly recipe. Now let me show you step by step how to make this cold noodle salad for your hot summer days. The first step is to make the batter. Use all-purpose flour or bread flour. I use three cups for my four-people family. Then add one teaspoon salt. The salt will increase the elasticity of the noodle. Then add water in little by little. I used up six cups of water to come to this level of thickness. Remember to keep stirring in one direction. Gradually, it will look like this. You can still see some little lumps in the batter. Then use a mash to filter out the lumps. This is the before, and this is the after. You can clearly see the difference. Set the batter aside. We're going to move on to the next step: prepare the toppings. I like to use the food items that have the high contrast colors for the topping. First, crack three eggs in the bowl. Whisk until it's well blended. Heat oil. Brush the oil throughout the pan. When the oil is hot, pour the eggs in the pan. Let it cook for two to three minutes until you don't see any running eggs. Use a spatula carefully scoop up the egg and transfer onto the board. Then roll it up, cut into thin strips. I also like to cut some sweet red peppers into thin slices. Chop some cilantro to pump up the freshness of the dish. Now we have the toppings ready to use. Let's move on to the next step: steam the noodle. The tool we need here is a flat bottom pan or plate that can evenly spread the batter and safe. For steaming, I found this in my kitchen. Use what you have. Spread the oil in the pan. Then scoop up the batter and pour into the pan. Make sure the batter is evenly spread throughout the pan. Steam on high heat, about one to two minutes. Until you see the batter turns transparent, and the top of the batter is dry to touch. Then soak the pan in cold water to cool it down. You should be able to peel it off easily from the pan when it is completely cooled down. It looks very smooth and almost see-through. Brush oil on both sides. To stack them up and avoid sticking together. You 
can cut it into the desired width. Then put it in the bowl. Now it's time to make the dressing. Two teaspoon chili powder, handful Chinese peppercorns, two to three tablespoon cooking oil. Heat the oil and wait until the oil starts to smoke, but before the peppercorns turn black. Then pour the hot oil on the chili powders. You can hear the sizzling sound and the oil is bubbling up the chili powder. Mix. Then add one teaspoon light soy sauce, two tablespoon vinegar, few drops of sesame oil. Optional, you can add one clove of ground garlic. This dressing is good for almost anything. Make more and seal it in fridge for one to two weeks of extended dressing needs. Now it's time to put everything together. Add the topping one by one on the noodles. Pour a few spoons of the dressings. Then mix them all together. I just can't wait to give it a try. Every bite is full of rich flour, salty, soury, and spicy, and full of layered textures, elastic and smooth from the noodles, crunch from the sweet peppers, and chewy from the egg strips. Enjoying the freshly homemade food can be very satisfying. This is how to make this delicious cold noodles recipe. I hope you enjoy the video. Give it a try and let me know if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My name is Crystal. Hope I can see you soon. Bye.